Hello, I am Luos, and in this video for the Impact Effects Pack, I am going to show you a little bit more about the Boom Text Particle Effect. Let's just first start showing a little bit about the effect itself. Uh, there are multiple emitters inside of this package, and I set up quite a few of them. It's basically just one texture with all kinds of uh, words on it, and the dynamic module is flipping between them. So. If I select the one with that as one word, it only shows the kablam word. Now if I go to the dynamic module and I have the flip look frame here, it's between 0 and 1. And every time I add 0.125 to it, if I copy it and then plus that, it shows another word. This is also uh, explained inside the material itself. I'm going to go there. And no, it says note current flipbook contains 32 images. 32 divided by 1 is 0.03125, meaning that if you increase the dynamic flipbook frame by 0.03125, you will get a new word. And this is an easy to copy value, so I can just easily copy this. Control C, go back to particle system, go to the dynamic node, and let's start with that value. Just a blast. Now, if I add this value to it, just ba boom. If I add to it, just crash. Now, some of them, I think it's boom text five. It flips between any of them, so you can either pick one word out of the whole texture or make it randomly between the zero and one value. Now, this texture is made of a simple texture like this. Obviously, you can decrease the texture size or compress the, the words a little bit more so that they are closer together, whatever you need. Just make sure that it has an accurate X and Y value. So 4 by 8 or 5 by 5, whatever you need. And you, and you can easily just add new words, of course. Um, that's basically most of what you need to do. But let me just set up one so you know how to use it. Let me duplicate this emitter. Duplicate. There we go. Let's just call 17 for now. I'm gonna open it and make sure it's still selected in the content browser. Let me close the material instance and material real quick. There we go. Now let's say I want boom text one. Bomb bounce, boom bounce, boom, fight me, bomb. All I need to do is right mouse click, emitter, export emitter. Keep in mind that this only works when you have the particle you want to export to selected in the content browser. So now I have the blam, pow, blam, nuke stuff. Let's pick a background for it. And those are divided by the boom balloons. So I have multiple available, very simple one, etc. But I think a bit more chaotic one might work. I think one of these is it. That's very clean. Uh, Okay, there we go. Boom, boom, seven. Again, make sure that it's selected in the content browser. Easy way to select the particle emitter you want to export to. By going to the emitter you want to export to, press the magnifying glass, go back to the emitter you want to export from, right mouse click, emitter, export emitter, and there you go. And that's how the boom text stuff works. Now you can easily add new stuff obviously to it and then just apply it into a new material instance. So that's basically it. All right, take care.